Look at that. That's a much bigger fish. That is a much bigger fish. Nope, that's just a gigantic bluegill, brother. You go to Walmart, you get you a four pack of those, they're like a buck, two bucks. You get you a three pack of those, they're a couple bucks. That's a couple bucks. That's what's loaded up that entire cooler. So for less than $10. Hey, let me put one on, let me see. Yeah, well, I'm gonna show you first and then I'm gonna hand it over to you. So. How you been, big cousin? I've been good, how you been? So Mike's like, hey, we don't have anything to do tomorrow. I was like, awesome. So here, this is what I'm doing, I'm taking it. You don't need to fish out there. Yeah, Bluegill yeah. and all that, don't like that. They're, if they're spawning, and they spawn like five times a year, if the heat's right, I go right there, I bring it in. Give it five or 10 seconds. They'll either hit it or they won't. Okay, if they don't hit it, just lift it up and let it drop again. And when you do, right there. Oh, <laughs> I didn't set the hook hard enough, but you just set the hook. Right. So I'm gonna but you hit that nibble. Yep. So I'll give you that. Give you that. So to stand right here next to Mike, it's firm right here. Don't get too because it's yeah. too mushy. And just take that, open it up, and just flip it right in, right in front of him. Yep. Just flip it in there. Yep. 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 Now give it a second. If you don't get anything in about ten seconds. Right and you don't have to do a bass hook set. You just got to lift the top of your pole. There, like, you there it is. Now reel them in. <laughs> and look at that. Yes, sir. Boom. It does not get Beautiful. any easier than that, brother. <laughs> That's some good. Right? Man, Tell me, man. it does not get any no, easier than that, guys. That's what I'm talking about. How you doing, sir? Right. Oh, you'll appreciate that. That's full of bluegill. Ah. Yeah. Monster bluegill. Brother, watch. Magnus, pop it a little bit and just let it sit. They like that reaction on that pop, but again, then again, we've caught about 30 of them out of there right now. Yeah, step over and take a look. How have you been? I've been pretty good. Oh, yeah. Look at that, see? Just like that. Oh, that's not even the biggest ones. I got a couple of 10 inches over there. I need to get you some gloves. I got some gloves. Just when you throw it, so. Yeah, yeah, grab it behind the fence <laughs> and push hard. Nice, yeah, nice I know what to do, but it's just okay. like slippery. Right? Yep. That's the only Mike, thing. I'm going to put this up here so it doesn't fall down the hill, okay? Where's the Oh, here you go. You don't want me to catch No, put them in your pocket. <laughs> I've had them and kicked them in the pond before. In the cooler? I'm not playing gosh. around. We haven't even had to touch the worms. Good gosh. We are taking little crappie nibbles on a trout magnet jig head, and they're wearing them out. If you go much bigger than that, they won't bite. Dang, those are, that's big. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. I know you and, and you and Uncle Jimmy caught bigger, but, yeah. not but we've caught, we've caught about 30 in the last 15 minutes, just right here, a I've foot off the bank. I've never caught them that big out here, because I haven't fished a whole lot. My biggest thing is there must be like right here. Oh, there you go, Mike. Magnus, look at the size of that bull. <laughs> now there must be a channel right here. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, is when I go past that uh -huh. green one right there that's sticking out, I typically don't get bit. So what right I do, here. yeah, I'm just keeping it right in here. Right in there. There's like a channel or something here or a hole. So, and then I'll just pop it. And just wait. And, that's when they get and on that pop, I think it's going up and it's slowly coming back down to them. And it either gets their attention or it falls on top of the bed. Do one more time. I was reeling it in. That last one, I was reeling it in and you hit it. Well, you, no, that's the thing. You can. <laughs> but that's kind of what they do, especially if they're on bed. And then I've caught them as, as short as a foot in the water. Cast over there. I want to because I because, see, There you go. Here you go. I mean, all day long, brother. Jump in here and catch some. We got plenty of poles. So, you know Tom. Have you met Tom? Yeah. Yeah. He knows me. Have I? Yeah. So, he used to fish. Down in the lake. Man, I've been looking for you. Yeah. So, how you doing? All right. I was waiting for you to react. Yeah. You got old and fat. I was going to say, because you know, because you know, he's the legend. <laughs> no, you are. So when you tell me I've not caught him that big here, I'm like, yeah. that, I can't believe that. Uh, I Jump in there and catch one. No, I'm, I'm, I mean, look at this. I'm...
I will have the fish down there, or you can just follow us home when we get done, okay. and I'll hand it to you. Dude, and you'll see. <laughs> Yeah, cooler i mean we have a stand-up freezer crappie yeah, sure. bluegill shell cracker oh you want it back yeah they're right there so, oh look at that hard. see that's what i'm talking about brother y'all that, that is what it's all about beautiful wow. now magnus before you came yeah. out here have you ever used that technique before no mm -hmm. i right? use it for crappie you use this one for crappie mm -hmm. same thing okay. same thing so guys there you go so, and magnus is from uh, california guys Far as Dude, that, that might be the big one today. Right there. Take Crappy that bad boy. Let's walk over here and measure this. He said they've had yeah. six years of bad spawn. Because they're bringing like a That's got to be almost 10 inches. I need more. I'm going to hand these back to you. About to put them on that other hook. Look at the thickness of that. I, what I love about that is look at the stripes. Yeah. Okay, There's so we got. In here. 10. 10. 10 and a half. Ten. It is nine and seven eighths, brother. That line right there is ten. It's almost there. If its lips were bigger, we're gonna say it's ten for all intents purposes. That's a ten inch bluegill, y'all. Yep. But if you catch this many, you're gonna get stuck at some point. Okay. But what I was trying to show you earlier is I learned that trick. If you grab them there, any fish, it paralyzes them. So guys, they're talking. I'm gonna hijack Mike's pole. Yeah. That's crazy. You know, you watch all these people, they get in boats and do this. And what do they always do? They cast back to the bank. Right. <laughs> and the people on the bank cast out to the channel. And at some point, they normally feed good for about 20 minutes, from what I've noticed, and then they'll shut off. But then, what I do is I just go to another part of the pond. What's the shell cracker? It is a giant. Oh my goodness. Yes, sir. <laughs> so a shell cracker is like a bluegill. It'll look just like this. Right. Okay. But let me get this one under control. It will not have this black spot on its fin, and it will have a yellow or an orange or a red, uh, like thing around its ear here. Uh huh. Its ear flap. Oh, okay. So they call them red ear. We, or some people, yeah, red ear. Some people call them shell crackers. There you go, brother. Nice. Get that bad boy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Still ain't game enough. Look at that. Yeah. Cast after cast after cast. Oh, I didn't. Two or three big ones okay. And then they start I got to grab those gloves. I kept telling you I was going to grab the gloves. Thank you. There you go. See, what I always do, too, is I scrap. Yep, just like that. You got it. Now, they can still stick you through there, so you still no, got to. I know that, but it's, I can grip it better. Right. Beautiful. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. Look at that. That's a much bigger fish. That is a much bigger fish. Nope, that's just a gigantic bluegill, brother. <laughs> oh, should I hug on to you? Where you at? There you go. Look at that. Good Lord. Well, that's why I was asking him if he was going to see Uncle Jimmy because we'll have Magnus. We'll give him some of that fish that we already have filleted up. They yeah. want to do a fish fry or something. He was telling me that he was just telling me a story about how you and him went out and caught a hundred bluegill, big bluegill. And while my dad was flaying them up, yeah. Uncle Bill was cooking them. Yeah. All of a sudden, they looked over. They ate ninety-six of the hundred bluegill. Down, ninety-six of the hundred bluegill. Him and Uncle Jimmy had eaten them. They're like, you guys don't get any more. There you go. Fight, bring. There you go. Perfect. That's a bass. Now. <laughs> Some people will get mad at me, y'all. If we didn't have so many bass in this pond, I would never do this. You're getting eaten. So if you ever eat bass, they will be one of the bait. This is the size right here. I like that size. It if they get better. if they get bigger than that, let them go become a trophy bass. If they're smaller, there's not enough meat. But when you cut that fillet off, that is about the same as a 15 or a 16 inch crappie, and the flavor for that size. Oh. How often can you go somewhere and in a matter of minutes just catch this many massive size bluegill? Yeah, them nice, them slabs. Yep. There you go. Another monster. <laughs> it's like someone's under there just hooking them on there. Oh, there's a hook. Let me just put another one on there. 
Oh, they're going to be dinner. Got him. Magnus, you left too soon, brother. Come here. Come here. <laughs> oh. Are you building the house down here? Yes. Be a nice place. Yeah, we just avoided a major. The water table's so yeah. high there yeah. that they were doing the septic, and we were like, oh no, we're going to need a pump and all that. Engineer came out and said, nope, just move this line about six feet this way. That's they dug. Money, huh? Everything was good. Yeah, because he's weak. It's where you lay day. Guys, I want to keep fishing, but <laughs> I'm about to have exhaustion here. Good Lord. Yeah, I'm gonna go when I did that. We came all the way down the coast. <laughs> This isn't fair, but it is fun. Y'all, we've had a long last couple weeks and this has made it all worth it right here. Look at that, another slab. That is what I'm talking about. Good Lord. A lot of, lot of, stress. A lot of stress and the Good price Lord. of the material price of these. Oh, are you having fun or what? Yeah. And the My goodness, the man. Yeah. That is crazy. The yeah, they could be cost. tricky. Hey y'all, sometimes you just get out and the experience is unexpected. This is my cousin Magnus from California. He gets on a whole different level of fishing out there. Just happened to pull up today, right as these fish were turning on, and we had a blast. A blast. 15 minutes for me. Absolutely. Probably about six, seven of them. Oh yeah. He, he Slabs. Got, he caught more than that. Guys, we're Shh. about to show you this cooler. I'm going to put that picture in the video right now. But hey, Magnus, man, I appreciate it. I love you, brother. Love you too, cousin. Okay. Guys, remember, always get outside, go fish, and have fun. And we'll see you on the next cast.